Hey everyone, welcome to another video. How do you farm an airdrop without being exposed to price swings of the token you're using to farm? We're going to take a look at this with an example on Hyper Liquid using the Hype token. There are a lot of videos on Hype and Hyper Liquid, so if you want to skip ahead to my example, I'll put timestamps down below, but I'm going to start with a little bit of an intro. First of all, what is Hyper Liquid? Well, Hyper Liquid is a DEX. They have their own L1 blockchain, and they're trying to bring you all the features such as future trading of a centralized exchange change except they're bringing it to you in a decentralized manner and what that means is you don't have to give up custody of your assets or kyc they also have their hyper evm which we'll talk about a lot that is their virtual machine for ethereum which allows developers to bring ethereum compatible dApps into their ecosystem we're going to be looking at a delta neutral strategy and that means basically you can minimize exposure to the price movements of the asset in this case hype and still earn yield through things like farming, staking, and lending. The exact strategy we're gonna show you in a minute will be using Hyper Liquid to short hype, staking that hype on Hyper Beat, liquid staking, which means you get ST hype in return, and then we can take that ST hype and we can deposit or loan it or supply it into Hyperlend, earning us even more yield. And then I'll talk a little bit about how you can take that strategy further with things like looping. So quick tip before we go through this, um, if you're on DeFi Lemma, the Hyper Liquid EVM protocols are listed under Hyper Liquid L1. If you type in Hi Hyper Liquid, there's a bunch of stuff that'll pop up. Uh, but this way you can see the protocols with the most TVL, which is usually the ones you want to watch or use because they're quote unquote safest when they have more TVL in them. Um, just something to keep in mind. Jumping onto that, uh, I'm using my demo wallet, the company's demo wallet here. So... I'm going to just use 100 USDT for the first time. There are a lot of bridges you can use. If you want me to make a video on all the different ways to bridge money into Hyper, let me know. That's also a good way to farm points for potential airdrops. But I'm just going to use their default system here, which is USDC on Arbitrum. Uh, if you can just use Uniswap, if you have Arb or ETH and then get it USDC and throw it in here. So let's just make it an even 100. I'm going to switch the Arbitrum network. Confirm and then deposit that in here. Once that's done, it's pretty quick, and then you'll see your balance is down here in a minute. So there's my 100 USDC. This is in perps. If you want to transfer it to spot, you can do that here very easily. And if you switch it to spot and then you buy hype, you can then send it to the EVM, which we'll do in a minute. But we are actually going to start with perps hype usd and we're going to short sell and i don't want to do 10x leverage i just want to do 1x leverage to keep this very simple as close to delta neutral as we can we're just going to go half of our usdc um 50 percent. you can even just type 50 here make it exactly half 50 percent. we're going to short hype and then with the other 50 percent, we're going to buy hype and what that means is if the price of hype goes up well half of our money is hype so that goes up but if the price of hype goes down, our short position is going to earn because we're shorting hype. So in that way, it doesn't matter if the price of hype goes up or down, we win. So let's place that order, short sell. Um, pretty simple, just takes a second. You can see your position here. And then I'm going to take my other 50 USDC or roughly that, and I'm going to transfer it to spot. So let's just switch it all to spot. Confirm. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to choose the spot markets. And we're actually going to go hype USDC on spot. Um, hype USDC and you could do a limit order if you want to get hype at a certain price I'm just going to buy it on the market um, and we're going to use the remaining of our USDC which will get us 1.2 hype so we'll buy that and there you have we have hype and we have a short position of USDC and so right now we're delta neutral with that and so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move the hype to hype EVM, and then we're gonna farm some points. So <clears throat> through this way, by using the perps, you're actually getting exposure to the main hyper liquid perp decks, which is probably gonna help you in the next airdrop as well. And then we're gonna try and double dip this and get more points on a bunch of the protocols in the EVM, all while remaining Delta neutral. So our hype here, you can transfer to EVM, super simple once again. I'm just gonna do the whole amount once again, Hyper Liquid is nice because it's actually gasless once you're in here. So you don't have to worry about that part when you're doing swaps, um, perps, etc. So now this, as you can see, this disappeared because we actually have our hype on Hyper EVM now. 
And what I'm going to do is deposit it into, well, I'm actually going to stake it on Hyperbeat. So me personally, I also have a fair amount of Hyperbeat USDT in here because there's a almost 10% APY and you're getting a bunch of different points and rewards by participating in this. And USDC, once again, is also stable. So I don't have to worry about price swings. You can just use Hyperswap. I'll put links to all these protocols as well as a couple affiliate links for my referral codes, whatever, down in the description. So if you're looking for safe links for all these sites, they'll be down in the description, including I'll put Hyperswap as well if you want to swap for some USDT and put that in here. But today we're actually going to be staking our hype. So if we connect our wallet, MetaMask, firm. Um, it's adding the Hyper EVM because this is a different RPC in MetaMask. So we'll go ahead and approve that. Cancelled. Weird. Okay, try again. Um, connect my wallet. Confirm. Okay, that time it worked. I think because I didn't have the RPC the first time, it, it just failed on me. Um, now you'll be able to see the hype that you transferred to Hyper EVM in your wallet here. Um, because we didn't have the RPC, you couldn't see it before. You can add the RPC manually here too. Um, but I trust Hyperbeat to add the correct one. And then, like I said, we're going to stake this. So on this, we're going to get 2% APY from staking the hype. So we can do that. Uh, I think you, yeah, you can click max. And this is going to give us ST hype because this is liquid staking your hype. So once that's done, um, they have their own hyper portfolio, which sure, if you want to view everything you have here, um, you can see the pools you're in, um, the staking, et cetera. Um, it actually isn't recognizing our staking yet, but anyways, it'll pop up there in a minute. Now that we have... ST hype, we're going to take that over to Hyperlend and we're actually going to connect our wallet, acknowledge the terms and services, MetaMask, connect. Now we're going to go ahead and supply our liquid hype, the WST hype, into here, which will give us an additional 2% APY. On Hyper, actually, you know what? I Yeah, on Hyper EVM, there is a, net, a network fee, so I probably should have saved a tiny bit of hype for that but it's it's should be okay i think i have enough so it's complete done um everything you do in hyper liquid is is gasless but on the hyper lens side there's a tiny bit of gas as you just saw so but i have 37 cents which is plenty i can do like 36 transactions so anyways that's done if you want to leave it there now we're collecting points on hyper beep we're collecting points on hyper lend we're using the hype protocol which is also going to give us exposure to the main airdrop and if you wanted you could do a whole bunch of other stuff on the evm ecosystem with your hype while maintaining a delta neutral position the other thing that a lot of people will do is they'll do something called loop where now that we've supplied some collateral, you can borrow against your collateral on Hyperland and then deposit it back in and then borrow again and deposit it back in each time at a fraction of the last one. That's called looping. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated. It leaves you with another risk in which if the hyper price actually swings, you could get liquidated on your borrowing and supplying position and then it'll close a bunch of the loops and you'll actually get punished for that. So taking on that gives you more points, more rewards, but makes it more risk. If you want a whole video on looping and those aspects of DeFi, let me know in the comments. We can do that later. But for now, we're done. Nice and simple, delta neutral, collecting a bunch of points. As always, none of this is financial advice. Even though you're protected against swings in the price of hype, there are a lot of other risks to be aware of, such as exploits or rugs from some of the ecosystems involved in this video and similar DeFi protocols. I'm using protocols that I'm safe putting money in that I might lose. Make sure you do the same. If you want to see some more videos, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.